Doesn't this look good? I got the stick. I got the stick on me right now. That's how you feel. You have this stick on you right now. <coughs> Day hasn't even started yet. We're already two blunts in. Out here with my dude, Hesh. And we still on this 21 tape, too. I'm like, that's 21! Flexing on that bitch. Hold up. But, um, and he has a hair appointment. And I gotta get a haircut, which is interesting. I've been vlogging so much that you guys will probably totally notice. But you know, I gotta get my haircut before I go to Greece, you know? I just gotta get grease in my hair. Later, bitch. Later. Where you going? To Huff. To Huff? Mm-hmm. You going to Tokyo? No. Oh yeah, I am going to Tokyo. Ha ha. I'm going for fucking September for a Babylon pop-up shop. There you go. Pow. All right, so here's something I never talked about with anybody on the podcast or on the vlog too much, really. So basically, I have a really bad lower back. My lower back has been fucked pretty much ever since I started riding BMX when I was like 15. Uh, it just constantly hurts when I'm like sitting or like, it'll just start to tighten up over time as I'm sitting or, you know, when I'm riding my bike, that it's just a jerking motion. If you think about like doing a bunny hop, you're basically just like lifting your bike off the ground and, and jerking your bike around in such a way that it's like, it's really like an unnatural thing for your back to be doing. And that's why a shitload of dudes who ride BMX end up having really bad backs, especially lower backs. And so, yeah, I've just been dealing with it my whole life, but I've found definitely some relief in uh, going to this Pilates teacher that I've been going to. And uh, she, I guess I'll introduce you guys to her. And she basically is just like, she does these like leg exercises with me mostly that just help build like strength in my back and I don't really understand it that well but I've been doing it for like a month or two and it's fucking dope like it's definitely giving me uh, like a, a feeling of relief in terms of pain in my back that I just have never had before so I'm pretty uh, excited about it and figured that it would be worth sharing with the vlog uh, even though I know talking about your old man injuries is kind of weird even though this is an injury that I've had since I was like incredibly young so all right so I considered telling the uh, physical therapist lady that I was going to film her but I didn't want to make it seem like a big deal and then when I showed up she didn't have any makeup on so she didn't want to be on camera uh, I think normally she has makeup on she looked different today but yeah so maybe I'll show you guys that next time but anyway now I feel super limber and all worked out my back feels amazing and she also gave me uh, the number to this massage place that uh, she says is really, really good. So there's a chance that I will be paying to get the shit beat out of me by two different Asian people today. So very exciting. Now I gotta go get my hair cut. So I got about 36 hours before I uh, go to Greece. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited because I haven't been on any sort of vacation in a little while. It's been like shit, probably like over two months. And uh, what's cool about it is, what's cool for me when I travel is that when I'm in LA, I just have the world at my disposal. Like, I can make vlogs every day, I could sit there and crank out multiple videos a day, I could go and do two, three podcasts a day. Like, literally, I know what I'm capable of, and what I'm capable of is scheduling and creating gigantic amounts of content. So my struggle when I'm in LA is basically to create as much stuff as possible while also maintaining like a quality of life that I'm happy with in terms of being able to relax and do things other than work that I'm that make me happy and make me enjoy my life and it can be hard because it's like there, there's absolutely no limit on how much shit I could do in an average day so there's something about being in LA that just gives me a little bit of stress all the time because I always have that feeling like I could be working harder. You know, there's a million fucking events every night. There's a million things going on. I got a million different groups of friends that I could go hang out with and like, you know, it ends up just being really difficult to figure out what I want to do because I have so much stuff that I could be doing. And what's dope about like me going to Greece is that it's the complete and total opposite of what it's like out here for me because I'm basically helpless. Like I'm hanging out with my friends who are like, I'm gonna be hanging out with guys out there, BMX dudes that I don't even know yet. I'll be out there with a bunch of my friends too, Dylan Lloyd and a bunch of, uh, I think Ed Zunda is gonna be out there. So I'm super excited, but it's like, I'm basically just on somebody else's schedule. Like somebody else is gonna be taking us to spots to ride. Somebody's gonna be taking us to places to film or when we go out at night, it's not like my choice. It's like whoever we're hanging out with, like they know the area, they know where to go. So it allows me to be in like a, to a totally, totally different state of mind and just completely just chill out and relax. 
And that's why I'm super fucking excited that I'm gonna be getting out of the country. I have to give a very sincere thank you to Monster Energy uh, for purchasing this plane ticket and hotel for me so that I can go to this BMX event. And just so you guys know, you should probably go subscribe to the Come Up BMX channel because that's where probably a bunch of the videos that I make out there are gonna be posted under the uh, webisodes section. I'll post videos on here, but if they're not about uh, BMX, like if they're outside of BMX, if they have you know a bike trick or two, maybe I'll put it on a no jumper. But if it's like a lot of BMX content, you know, I'll still be in it a lot. So you guys might still definitely want to watch it. But I mean, you should definitely check it out on that channel too. Uh, update on the strike. It has crossed my mind that I might have to do something that I really don't want to do and start another YouTube channel and have that channel be for the interviews and have this current channel be for the vlogs. I know that's not gonna make everybody totally happy because this channel has so, so many fucking interviews on it already, but the thing is is that I have a time limit on this channel and if I have to go more than a couple more days without being able to post interviews on here, I'm basically gonna go crazy. So I might actually have to start another channel for interviews and it's gonna pain me to do so and I think that this is one of the greatest injustices of all time that uh, my channel has been taken down because a girl touched another girl's boobs. But, you know, I might have to do it. I'm pissed. I hope I don't have to do it. I figure I'm gonna give it like, I don't know. I honestly might give it till the end of the Greece trip because realistically when I get out there, I might not have good Wi-Fi. So I might not be able to upload stuff as aggressively as I'm gonna want to anyway. It's always like a total fucking crapshoot because you know, Monster or whoever books the, the plane ticket and then you just kind of get there and you figure out if the Wi-Fi is good or not. I don't know exactly where I'm staying or if I'll be able to get good Wi-Fi. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, compress these videos down and get them uploaded, but if not, then I'll just have a huge amount of videos to release when I get back, which will be fun, I guess, in its own way. Last night I did interviews with uh, Megan and Lindsay Hughes who are both uh, basically YouTubers uh, with a shitload of subscribers and they make videos uh, initially rooted in like makeup and beauty tips and stuff like that. But then over the years, they've kind of, you know, transformed into more just doing like daily vlogs and stuff about their lives and everything like many YouTubers. And uh, they're really young, they're sisters, 18 and 21. And it was really cool because the reason why this interview happened is because Megan subscribes to No Jumper on YouTube and I went into the, the you know, I went into the channel settings and I was looking at who our fa most famous subscribers were and I posted it uh, uh, talking about the dude James who's the singer of the band The Vamps who I don't really listen to but I know that they're a fucking huge band and the dude James is friends with Adam LZ which is probably how he knows about No Jumper but I posted that screenshot and you could also see that Megan was a subscriber and so uh, I somebody like tagged her and was like oh like that's cool that you like no jumper and she said yeah like it's a fucking dope interview series and then I looked at she said yeah it's a dope interview series blah 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 and then I ended up just being like yo we should do the interview her and her sister both live in downtown LA they were super funny and cool me and Roseman I think uh managed to get them outside of their comfort zone significantly like we like their channels the content is very clean it's very uh you know they have all these little girls following them, so they don't want to talk about anything too gnarly. They keep a very clean image, like a lot of like young girls on YouTube do. And uh, we had them on the podcast talking about peeing outside, talking about menstruating, talking about hooking up with people that you just met. And it was like, we didn't really have to get too creepy or try too hard to make this conversation happen. It just sort of happened. So hopefully their fans will enjoy hearing them say the F word and stuff like that. And then... Uh, Right after that, we interviewed Jasper, aka Boy Tweets World, uh, and his boy Lex, who uh, are just two really fabulous, amazing uh, dudes who were just unbelievably funny. We talked for almost two hours, and Aaron from Shop Gene was there, and of course, Robesman. Uh, sorry to any little house phone fans out there that haven't seen him on the on the pod for a minute, but I don't know, it just hasn't, hasn't really been any that were like targeted well for uh, house phone lately. Also, I'm hanging out with a girl tonight that I probably should not put in the vlog, so this might end at some point. Well, it will definitely end at some point, but it might end slightly before the end of the day. Look at this. No Pokemon as far as the eye can see, even though we're in downtown LA where there's more Pokemon trainers and lures and players than damn near anywhere on Earth, but there's absolutely nothing because the server is fucking trash. How's the sales on the Rope Gang merchandise? Uh, there's about 100 orders so far and it's only been, what, two hours? 
You hear that? That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, we sold out. We're gonna get more made. What's up? Rogue Gang, that's damn right. What's up, guys? I know I already said hi, but we're doing it again for the vlog. Gay. Okay. Alright, I gotta move my car. Thank you. Later, boys. He's gonna stand here all day looking hot. I'm actually going to get this massage right now. Figure, you know, why not get my body feeling really good before I have to go to Greece for a week. So I'm gonna go in and see how this feels. And I'm assuming that it's gonna like make me feel like I just need to sleep for like four hours afterwards because that's usually how this shit works. Okay, so my enthusiasm for Pokemon Go has been waning a little bit, but I have an evolution that I'm about to do that has me incredibly excited. I gotta be honest. Uh, I've been collecting these fucking Geo dudes for so long. Check this. And I am now finally ready. I have enough Geo dudes to take my Graveler and evolve him. So I got the egg going. Let's see what this turns into. I could look it up online, but I'd rather be surprised. Aha! I don't know what this dude's called. Add him to my Pokedex. Golem. 479. Not that great, but it's an evolution, so fuck it. And it helps me move up in my uh, my level 18 quest. Look at that, 2,000 XP. We out here. As far as massages go, that was a fucking awesome one. I'm feeling great now. Totally ready to get on a plane tomorrow. Um, I'm ordering a bunch of food, going back to the house now, and uh, all I gotta say is that my body is now so fucking relaxed from that massage that I feel like I just took a fucking Xanax. But I also just wanted to say, I know it seems kind of weird that I like spend a significant portion of this day doing like things to like make my body feel better, like getting a massage and going to this physical therapist thing. But let me tell you, I have had issues with my body since I was really fucking young and it sucks. And I've gone months and years at times without uh, bothering to go out of my way to like work on my body and stuff. And it is a huge mistake. You need to fucking, if you have any kind of physical ailment like me with a fucked up back and a fucked up neck, like you need to go and you need to do whatever is possible to deal with this shit. So uh, I just want to encourage anybody. It's worth the 50 bucks. It's worth a hundred bucks. Just want to throw that out there. And also you might have to go to multiple places. Cause I know that like when I moved to LA, I tried two different places before I found the chick that I like now. So, uh, and this is the first time I've ever actually gotten a massage in LA and I've lived here for like two and a half years. So, you know, you gotta just trash it out. Back of the kids doing the same damn thing with the same damn person. You never even left. I went to go get a new board, shots out stuff. Thank you guys. Whatever, seems like you didn't leave. We got Uber Eats, back on the Uber Eats mission. Back on the Uber Eats. I broke the bank on this shit. It was $38 even after the fucking $20 off. In other words, running up a check. This shit. Uh-huh. I forget what it's called. I'm gonna look at the thing in a minute. And of course, Brussels Sprouts Gang. And of course, some pasta that I forgot the name of. The night is over. I feel like this might have been kind of a boring vlog. But whatever, I just realized that I stripped out the threads on the inside of my camera where the tripod attaches and I did this like a fucking idiot by tightening it with the tripod instead of with the camera. If you do it with the camera, you're going to get it just right. If you do it with the tripod, you have way too much leverage and you're going to strip out the threads. So I guess I'm going to try and go get that fixed tomorrow. That's fucking annoying. Uh, the no jumper shirts are like sold out. So we're going to, I think we might have like some more that we didn't put up in the inventory. So we're going to put a few more online tomorrow, but they're probably going to go really, really fast. And I guess we're just going to print more and I don't know, I guess I'm just going to make a shitload and probably make some different colors and stuff too. Like I'm not trying to make this some like weird exclusive thing where we only put it out once in a while. Like your favorite streetwear brand. I'm trying to just like put the shit out for people who want it. So I will try and supply your demand with more merch ASAP. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, I really hope I don't have to make another channel for podcasts. Can you tell that I'm high? Peace.